All right, guys, so here's a layout of some of the stuff that I've been working with in the past uh, year or so. So here is my new 72 volt setup. So I've got a new charger. As you can see, it's A20S. Uh, it's a lithium uh, universal smart charger. And I've got a new 72 volt display. I know this because they wrote it on the back. <laughs> right there. Um, this is actually my third display. So, and then this is um, my controller that I ordered, a uh, 72 volt controller. So as you um, all know who've been following me, I've had a 48 volt setup at first um, and nobody has actually seen the 72 volt setup. So this is the first time you guys have actually seen anything to do with the 72 volt setup. Um, that is my old controller there. Oh, nice to have the 48 volt, if it will focus. Right there. And then this is actually my old display for that 48 volts. Um, just FYI for you guys, if you guys have one of these SW900s, yeah, SW900 um, displays right here, um, be careful on the voltage settings. If you can, you could, you can go in and actually adjust the voltage from 36 uh, all the way up to 72. Well, I thought it was good to go up to 72. Uh, I didn't really think much about it, and it did work. It worked great for about 50 miles, um, and then it just stopped working. So that's when I ordered a a legitimate uh, 72 volt controller and a display. Unfortunately, this is my second display, and I'll go into a little bit uh, into more of it a little bit later. Um, and I've also got a spot welder um, and some 18650 holders, um, and also I got some. Some tabbing wire here and stuff is actually really cool. Um, and I've also got some single uh, tabbing wire as well. Um, this is all solid, it's not plated. Um, if you get plated, you run the risk of rusting if you live in a humid environment. So just make sure it's 100% plated or 100% <laughs> nickel and not plated. So, all right, off to the bike. All right, so here is the original battery for the 48 volt setup um, right here. Um, I do want to rebuild this guy to put 18650 18, holders um, with the cells uh, just to kind of separate the cells because right now they're all up against each other and I think that causes it to warm up a little bit quicker than it should. Um, obviously it's my phase wiring um, and this is my circuit breaker that I have. Um, and then as you'll see there's something new under the top bar here and this is... Okay. This is a new battery pack in here. So this is what completed seven more banks to make it a 20S battery setup. So the battery is basically split up in two different areas. Uh, first part is back here, that's 13 uh, cells or 13 banks. And then I've got seven more banks in this area here, um, which equals the, uh, it's a little bit more, these cells are actually a little bit better than these guys. Uh, so I'm actually a little bit higher than I used to be. I think it was like 17, 0.6 amp hours. Uh, now I'm closer to 19 with these cells. Um, and then also you can see the uh, display is currently off the bike here. Uh, I got to remount everything because it just all came back from China. Um, but other than that, uh, the updates that I really need to do on this bike is uh, are the brakes. These I need to go with hydraulic and bigger diameter rotors. These are just 160s front and back, and I am. When I'm at 72 volts, it's uh, you can go a lot faster, and you realize just how inadequate my braking is right now um, with the with this setup. So I need to go with hydraulic, and I've got a 203 uh, rotor for the front, and I'm going to go with a 180 in the back, just because I don't think I can go with a 203. It's already cutting it pretty close to my bar here. I don't even know if I can do a 180. Uh, might be able to squeeze it in there. I don't know if you can see that. So it's already pretty tight. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. Yeah, there you go. So 180 would bring it out, you know, a little bit further. So I might be able to get a 180 in here. Um, let's see if I can do a parallel. Yeah, as you can see how it come out. It would, it's going to be cutting really close to this bar. Um, I'll, I'll see. I'll look at a 203, but I don't really think I can get a 203 back there. Uh, so 180 is going to have to do. I also upgraded my my tires to these guys right here. Uh, so you can read the hemispheres. Uh, they're like a flag jacket kind of um, 
tire, and they actually work pretty well. Uh, it's more of a road running kind of tire, so um, you can pump it up to 65 PSI, and uh, roll resistance is a lot less, and you gain speed a lot quicker. Not that I need more speed with the 84 volt setup, but it works. All right, so this is gonna be just me checking the battery voltage. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out real quick, kind of give you an idea where I'm at. Wrong way. So I'm right here at the battery, and I've got my circuit breaker here. So I just wanna let you know what my voltage is. My peak voltage is 84, so it's almost fully charged. Um, right there, 83.6. So that's, that's the battery voltage right now. Um, I could probably throw it on the charger for a little bit, let it balance out a little bit more. Uh, but I think that's good enough. I think I'm okay. Okay, so now what I have to do um, is I have to take off this guy because I already have this on my bike and uh, mount this and take these two screws off right here. Actually, these two screws off right here. Um, since this is now my third display, um, I've already got this mounting kit on the bike. And uh, I'll just remove that and just remount it back onto the bike. So I'm doing this to make sure you guys can see this. Keep moving around. So that's now mounted. And then once you get it in position, then you can tighten up the um, Allen screws that are underneath here. And then you have this guy as well that you got to put on. And it'll actually bend out of the way. Let me grab my Allen set. What we're going to do is take this, this screw right here completely out. And just be careful when you're putting it over the handlebars on just how much you bend it because it can, I'm sure it can probably break especially if it's getting old, if it's been on the bike for a few years, I don't think you'll be able to do this because it'll probably be a little bit more brittle. So, but let's see if it works. If it breaks, it breaks. I'll have to figure it out from there. Just like that. Just slides right on.
All right, so display is now mounted. The on and off button is mounted. Now I've just got to run uh, my wiring back to my controller. Right here. Okay, so I have my uh, controller tucked in and all the wiring into this little bag that sits on the top of my rear bag here. And now I can just zip this guy up and it's ready to go. Just like that. Turn it with one hand. That's ready. And here is my other battery pack here. That's down the side of here. And also, it zips up just like that. Alright, now I'll go ahead and adjust the settings on the uh, display from uh, kilometer per hour to uh, miles per hour. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and set this up. That's the voltage right there. That's the tire size right there. So we're all set up. And uh, that should be that should do it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right. So I'm trying to set this up to where you guys can see it. I'm trying to do this by myself here. Um, so I'm going to show you the free wheel spin with the wheel off the ground uh, with no resistance whatsoever. So here you go. Here's a good indication with this uh, new 15 watt, 72 volt nominal voltage, 84 volt peak uh, kit will actually do on the road. And that's in miles per hour. With these new tires, I do have a, a slight balance issue on the back. Um, it's like an oblong tire, so I may end up taking this tire back and have, having them replace it because it just doesn't seem like it's a true round tire. Uh, so you can obviously see the shaking whenever I was up to speed. So, but when you're on the road, you really don't feel it. It just you mainly see it when you have it free wheel spinning. So, there you go. There's the 72 volt 1500 watt kit.